Hey guys, it's Heather from Tomatoes, Poppies, and Everything Gardening. It is June the 12th. It's the morning of June the 12th. We are going to get some thunderstorms here in a little bit. And um, so I'm heading to my friend Ivy's house this morning. And I'm going to check on my potatoes. And I've got more tomatoes to put into a few empty spots that she has. And um, we're going to plant those. We're going to check on our Roma tomatoes. It's been exactly... I don't know 10 to 12 days might have even been 14 days since the last time I did a video update of those plants for you guys I've not posted that so in this video we're gonna um, see the footage from almost two weeks ago and then I'm gonna make a new video for today and add that to the back um, so that it's a, a nice you know section of video instead of like a three minute video. I didn't take a lot of footage, uh, but I'm in the kitchen right before we leave. I've already got everything loaded. Um, I wanted to show you my marmalade indoor house plant before it stops blooming. Isn't it pretty? So this is my indoor plant. Uh, the first year I bought it, it was an outdoor plant. And then I brought it in that fall and it's been inside with me. Um, this is the first or second time it's flowered since it's been inside. Sometimes you can, you can take it out in the summer and I think I did last summer, but I think I'm just gonna leave it in the house because it's so happy right here. And then also I've got that ginger. I did break some of those big chunks into smaller and I have some to go drop off at uh, Ivy's today as well and a few other little goodies. So let's get busy and go see how my tomatoes and potatoes are doing at Ivy's house and um, Enjoy. Here is some bamboo that Ivy is drying out to make poles, but you can see it still has a green tint to it. So evidently it takes quite a while. Here are her beautiful, beautiful red cabbages that still look great. Um, she grows cabbage amazingly well. Um, and then let's see what we're looking at. Oh, um, oh, this is the fish pepper. I wanted to show you the difference. Hers is in full sun and it's uh, completely green. Mine's in part sun and it's variegated. So also I wanted to show you her cucumber trellis. Uh, she just used uh, branches out of the woods. And this is like an underground watering system with just a milk jug, which is a great idea for retaining moisture in the soil. And here's a video. This footage from the fifth, there is that pepper right there. Again, this is the fish pepper. You can see in the sun, it is less variegated. And um, so I'm gonna show you the romas that we planted. These are Supremo. It's a hybrid uh, got from Botanical Interest. And you can see they look pretty big. Um, I'm sure you remember them from seedling when I started them in my bay window under the grow lights. They were one of the first to pop out within just a few days and uh, they grew pretty quickly and then they kind of were stunted for a bit until I was able to get them in the ground. I don't remember what date we planted them into the ground, but I did make a video of that. So I'll try to remember to link it below. And here's just some random pictures of the tomato plants. They are pretty big and they're looking gorgeous. Um, and here's some video coming up right now. These are my potatoes on June the 5th. You can see they look lush. I'll also link the video to when I planted these because remember some of them look really, really sad. I wasn't sure if I should even bother, but every single grow bag had great germination uh, or I guess sprouting um, with those potatoes and um, yeah. So that's the update for June 5th. And you can see my garlic's getting really close. And I just have a random bunch of plants here that Ivy is allowing me to keep on her property until we move. And I do come and check on them and water them and fertilize them. And with the cardboard, I'm trying to make like a mulched area so that uh, when we leave all my, me and my plants, it won't be just a big mess. I'll have like a mulched area for her and we can plant some stuff. Um, so she'll have like a little garden and um, the little organic bag is where I'm trying to save seeds from onions. And this is June the 12th. Um, you can see I brought more tomatoes over. I think I brought eight that day. And so you can see the difference in one week. It, will, it was only seven days between uh, the two videos. So this is June 12th what the Supremos are looking like at this point. Um, I did tie them up again on the 5th, but it looks like I need to come back and tie up again and hopefully these guys will produce well and we'll have a great harvest 
And here are my potatoes on June the 12th. And you can see I'm starting to get flowers. I'm really glad I went ahead and just did this project. Uh, took a chance on these potatoes because I think they look great. They're doing great. I do heal them up when I come over to Ivy's. I keep a bag of dry potting soil in my car. I water them. I heal them up if needed. But I'm basically at the top of the bags at this point. And uh, that's about all for this video, guys. And I will talk to you soon. And check out those uh, videos from the plantings down below in the description. Have a great day. Bye.